Mr. Miyagi is a criminal that should not have been permitted to be alone with minors. Throughout the first Karate Kid, we witnessed Miyagi's crimes, which range from misdemeanors to high-level felonies. The first crime we witness is Miyagi performing plumbing work without a license. This reckless act exposes all the tenants to his potentially shoddy work, which could result in major plumbing problems for the tenants in the future. Performing plumbing work without a license is punishable for up to one year in jail pursuant to California law. The next crime we witness is Miyagi permitting a 15-year-old kid to operate a motor vehicle without a license. When Daniel's son informs Miyagi that he doesn't have a license, Miyagi responds that he doesn't even have a license. I'm not, I'm not very good at it, Mr. Miyagi. No, no, me neither. Well, I really don't have a license. Me neither. Permitting an unlicensed driver to operate a vehicle is not only a crime, it places all other people within their path in extreme danger. Miyagi violates California's strict child labor laws on multiple days. Under the guise of training, Miyagi is able to obtain free labor to paint his fence, sand his floors, wax his car, and paint his house. Even if Miyagi claims the work was pursuant to Daniel Sun's karate training, he received the benefit from Daniel Sun's work and was required to compensate him. After performing the legal work for Miyagi without any compensation, Daniel Sun informs him that he sustained a work related injury. Instead of seeking medical treatment from a physician, Miyagi attempts to treat Daniel Sun's injury. Performing a medical procedure without a license is a felony in California, punishable for up to five years in prison. Ow, what are you doing? No! 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 Here we witness Miyagi assault and batter Danielson while he is practicing his kata on a small craft. Danielson could have been severely injured when Miyagi intentionally forced the craft to pitch. The sadist Miyagi cannot control his laughter after committing this crime, which is punishable up to one year in jail. Here we witness Miyagi providing alcohol to a 15 year old child. Serving alcohol to minors under the age of 21 is a crime punishable up to one year in jail. Miyagi's crime could be escalated to a felony if Danielson injures anyone else as a result of being intoxicated. <coughs> the next crime we see Miyagi commit is littering and reckless endangerment. When Miyagi is greeted by two friendly Californians, enjoying some beverages on the beach, he becomes enraged after they make a few funny jokes about his Japanese heritage. The egotistic Miyagi, unable to control his anger, smashes the glass bottles, which litter the sand below. Miyagi fails to clean the glass, exposing children and other beachgoers to severe injuries in the future if they play in that spot in the sand. On Danielson's 16th birthday, Miyagi allows him to choose one of the cars. Presumably, Miyagi doesn't have insurance as he doesn't have a license, and he allows Danielson to drive the vehicle without first notifying his insurance carrier. This could be considered insurance fraud and most likely would be in California. Here we witness Miyagi assaulting and battering five teenage boys that were traveling home from a Halloween party. The miners were still dressed in their costumes when Miyagi attacked them. We next witness Miyagi commit two crimes within minutes. First, he batters a minor female, grabbing her without consent. He then instructs the miner to steal clothing from a bag. The battery and larceny each carry a potential sentence of a year in jail. When Danielson informs Miyagi he is too injured to compete in the final match against Johnny, Miyagi fails to notify the physicians at the tournament. Instead, Miyagi disregards the law once again and performs a medical procedure on Danielson without a license. Performing this medical treatment without the requisite license is a felony in California, punishable up to four years in jail. 
As we witness throughout The Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi is a criminal. His repeated crimes warrant significant prison time and render him unfit to be alone with or to supervise minor children. Assault, larceny, reckless endangerment, battery, and providing alcohol to minors are among the many crimes Miyagi committed. The next time you think of Mr. Miyagi as a lovable Asian man, remember the victims of his crimes, most of whom were innocent children.